right, so I just woke up and we are gonna have a live stream for one point. They did show, I think, the Chinese one while I was like asleep. But uh, let's 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 just wait. Sixty seconds. We'll just live reaction. Oh, here we go. Really? This is the loading. Does it actually start? Start. <laughs> Okay, okay, um... Someone need to click the, the, the start. Hello travelers, and <laughs> welcome to Getchen Impact's 1.1 preview stream. My name is Sunmilk, and I'm excited to present to you information that I know everyone is looking forward to on November 11th. Yeah, coming pretty soon, isn't it? I'm pretty curious on what your predictions will be for 1.1. Some of you may be on the nose, and some of you may be a little off. Either a little or, off or on I the nose. tend to give okay, you four okay. hints on what to expect. Yeah, just four. Hint one, new characters. Hint two, new storyline quests. Hint three, I mean, I expected new in-game mechanics and Panic system kicks, okay. optimizations. And then lastly, hint four, a new event. We have a lot to cover, and we also have the last some two. footage to watch, but before we get into that, I would first like to remind you, or at least convince you, to stay till the end of the stream since we have codes available for you to use. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that's an incentive, isn't it? Okay, let's go ahead How long is this together, stream? you and like, I, 20 minutes? to watch Getchen Impact's debut of the 1.1 trailer trailer okay here we go here we go lock my seat in boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth and those that come across leo tend to stay a while so it is where many things come to settle this is the oh. largest one we've seen so far <gasps> the Fatui! They're attacking the Grecian Melissa! <laughs> Let's see. War, man. An ancient malice once more. Farewell, old friend. I am the least adept with the bow, and that is precisely why I must master it. Master it, you use daggers, etc. <laughs> Captain? <laughs> Nothing can be accomplished. Long Lee! Yeah. Charges that kind of teleports and like that, right? Summon the meteor. Damn it. Oh yeah, rock on. The MC get new skills. Maybe. New star approaches. Horizon. Is this the event? Oh, these are these stories. Yeah, not the event. Yeah, it's kind of like translated ish from the. What was that? That was absolutely amazing. Definitely one of my favorite PVs to date. Now I have to know, out of those four characters, which one was your favorite? And those cutscenes, those cinematics. Lee, man. I don't want to watch sure, it again. That must tease us. About Most likely it'll be uploaded, right? Of Liu. Honestly, I don't know what to say. I have no words. All I felt throughout that entire PV were just chills. Ugh. But I know Only that I was this was started. a live reaction. I'm not supposed to. So instead, let's recollect our thoughts and put our attention towards learning about the new character. All this cringe on the chat. I do have some graphics that will help visualize and explain everything in detail. All right, here we go. More in depth. 
of the characters. A warrior must always be ready to face any challenge with his blade. Bringers. The outcome of the battle is irrelevant. What matters is that you learn oh. from the experience. Starting off, I introduce to you Child, or also okay. known as Tartalia. His vision Tartalia. is Tartalia. And his primary weapon is the bow. Child's abilities enable him to switch between two stances. Not only can he deal hydro damage with a fully charged arrow, but he can also deal hydro damage during his melee stance. However, only within a limited amount of time. Oh, you're going to switch stance in the time? Child okay. Had a different form. A form where he could manipulate the power of Electro. Now, I am much more curious about Child's fullest potential. What other secrets could he be hiding from us? Especially mm. due to his relationship with the Fatui. <sighs> we can't dwell on this too much, especially since we have another character to introduce. Alright. Her name is Diona. 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 Well, uh, I spoke. My ears and tail are no prop, they're real. Proof of my cat's line bloodline. It's only weird to you because you've never seen it before. But why are you looking at me like that? Oh, fine. You could touch my ears for a second, but the tail <laughs> is off limits. Damn. Diona is not only an archer, but she is also a bartender from the cat's tavern. With her cute oh, she voice, dropped the shield? Cute attack, yeah, yeah. I think all the characters here kind of drop a shield, right? I would agree that she is our most adorable addition yet. And it absolutely reflects that in her cryo kit. Did you notice the cat Dropping ears some on milk. the shield that she provides? Mm-hmm. I didn't expect it either, but I'm absolutely in love with it. We also have another character that too provides a shield. Albeit, hers is a fiery one. What are you gonna... I wish they went over the skills though. I quickly just showed the skills. I guess they kind of show them here. Or I was hoping they would talk about the, the skills. That something you put your all into? When everything you love comes together into one thing, the place and time loses all importance. Rock on. You just need to enjoy it to the fullest and express yourself to your heart's content. <laughs> ah, I can never get enough of that feeling. Meet Shin Yen. She's very fashionable Yen. and defines the rock okay. and roll vibe. Even her name is hot enough for a solo debut. I love how her skills mimic like I'm attending at a live concert. And the rhythmic pulsations from her pyro shield Ooh. would easily scorch her enemies. Yet, despite of her intensity, I'm kind of curious about her background. Mostly because she's from Liu. And I'm curious how her rock and roll personality may she clash a soul artist? against Liu's ancient traditions. Now that I think about it, I haven't looked into much in her story or anything. I wonder how Shen Yen would handle herself with Zhong Li. Oh yeah, here's the here's the main guy. I'm excited for her. as a Geo main. And he kicked his spear. Damn. The rules of trade are bound by contracts, and this is fair. There is one thing you must never forget when making and abiding by a contract. If fairness is lost, then the contract shall become proof of one's deception. Last but not least is the official appearance of Zhang Li. He's very knowledgeable in every topic relating to the history and culture of Liu. Although his abilities may seem similar to the GL Traveler, one can see that his GL really, he looks way better. Proven to do more. I'm in the a freaking contact, meteor. Geo energy radiates to nearby enemies, inflicting. Oh, okay. So when he get they get petrified, they don't actually. The if you hit them, they don't actually break out petrified like shattered or frozen. A sturdy shield. I am just as excited as you are with wanting to play the new characters, but we can't forget about the other highlights for 1.1, which includes our next segment, the final chapter of Leoe. I don't know if you remember, but we were left at a cliffhanger in the 1.0 build. Seriously. <laughs> if you don't remember, don't worry. I can help refresh your memory with a of teaser screenshots and 
some exciting and it's a spoiler alert dissipating voice lines I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. The last Archon quest in 1.0 introduced Yu right. and Ningguang. Yu was inviting us to the Jade Chamber on the behalf of Ningguang's formal request. Do you see that on the right? Yes. Ballista? That is the Guizhong's Ballista. If we were invited to meet Ningguang, then why are we meeting with Kaching first? Something seems a little odd. I wonder. Now, where might Ningguang be? She must be waiting for us at her jade chamber. Right. This palace floats in the skies, higher than the peak of any mountain. From this vantage point, one may survey all of Liyue. One and be day, the final boss. Cap. I believe it will overshadow all seven nations. It's said that she's the one behind the constant expansion of the Jade Chamber. It's the second most important thing to her. Mm. Even if she ever gave up the position of Tianquan, she would never give up the Jade Chamber. Wow. The scenery Enjoy her jades. Jade is so breathtaking. This is definitely another scenic spot for a perfect photography shot. For how extravagant the architecture must be, it explains why Ningguang is such an ambitious woman. Do you think this My main right there. give us more hints about Zhongli and his influence? Or maybe more hints about the deep secrets within the Jade Chamber? Who knows what we may learn about the Tian Chun? As a mortal, Hopefully he's long enough. Oh, I her. never dared to imagine the Liyue without Rex Lapis. But as an adeptus, I think I will eventually come to grips with reality. Since Rex Lapis has passed, the time of Liyue's contract with the gods and Adepti has now reached its end. We may not know much about her, but Gan Yu is a mix of a human and an Adeptus. Gun, Gun it must be so difficult though. With her background, she may be more sensitive about the recent Rex Lapis incident. Gan Yu has to cope with the tension between the humans and the Adepti. Between the two opposing factions, which side do you think she'll eh? have to choose? For how gentle her heart is, I hope she will never have to come to that unfortunate decision. Because we are Adepti. Oh my. Do you war. recognize this familiar face? Xiao? I hope so. Because it's Xiao. However, please take note as to where he's standing. Yeah, look at the background. That's right. What could Zhao possibly be doing at the Jade Chamber? Aren't the Adepti and Xixing at conflict with one another? I fear Maybe they're becoming next. friends. I hope that everyone involved will be safe. That Become is all friends. That I ask okay, for. and then the happy, the happy ending. ending. Yay. Until one drizzly wow. day, as I was strolling along the harbor, I heard a merchant tell one of his workers. You finished your duties. Go ahead and call it a day. I stood motionless among the crowds, asking myself, Have I already finished my duties? Ah, similar to Ganyu, Zhongli is also going through self-reflection since the death of Rex Lapis. More duties to do? I cannot imagine how he must be feeling. Always more duties to do. It's no doubt that over time, everything does change. Now it's just whether Zhong Li will accept those changes. The Liyue of Qixing always repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far and our reach is long. Name your price. You deserve that much. Well, that's interesting. Name your price. Who's Qixing referring to? Could it be us, the travelers? If so, then Bribing what us? does this mean? I'm very curious what our dialogue options may be and what we can ask from Liu's Xixing. You've already fulfilled your task as guides, so why do you still linger here? Haven't you already seen enough trouble for today? As such, we must now look to our backup plan. I will awaken the god that lies dormant beneath Guyan's stone forest. Hey? Why does Child sound so angry? Did we do something to upset him? Even though we know he's associated with the Fatui Harbingers, it's scary that his organization may have discovered a way to manipulate multiple elements. 
though this ability does mean like a water and electric such as they cannot seem to use it without transforming into another form but wait if the traveler can also switch between elements then wouldn't that make the traveler also a fatui harbinger as well uh no that would be simply ridiculous from another world i don't another dimension oh, wait wait are all, all harbingers all from the dimension let's see what it is another dimension Boss time. New weekly boss. I did see a clip of this Zongli versus this child. We get the spear this time. Spoiler. Oh my god, this is this is a freaking spoiler. <laughs> oh. No way. Why is the Traveler and Child fighting? And for what reasons? Hold on, we don't have any more information about this? Oh my... That's he another knows. cliffhanger! Kappa. Uh, I suppose or I is it? be too upset. Since on the bright side, we finally hit at the point in the stream to distribute today's gift code. Oh, is it already at the on end? On the screen, there's a code that you can only redeem once. The code is Genshin ZHB30. This code will expire on October 31st and is valued at 160 female gems. Please also keep in mind that you must be at least Adventure Rank 10 in order to redeem the code. Type M instead of N. For our third segment, we have a new system okay, to okay, introduce okay. as well as new NPCs. The name of this new feature is called City Reputation System. Uh, reputation has a leveling uh, system that if only was rewards. Reputation, the reputation with reputation other has, players too. The better rewards become. There are four methods to improve your. Oh, this is fun! This, we have we're gonna have some These daily stuff to do. Bounty free quests, weekly quests from city residents. Only weeklies? Oh, it is a weeklies. Exploration progress, such as discovering these dailies. Points. Quests corresponding to the city, which can also include commissions. Leveling your reputation will unlock additional benefits, such as blueprints. In Mondstadt, there is Enamel Callis, Resonant Stone, Wind Catcher, Level 4, uh, these card, things. NREs. Then we scroll down. Animal Wings. treasure compass, a portable waypoint, portable waypoint, name card, and a monstat glider skin. Okay, and okay. Then for you, a level seven name card. Do they reset every month? I, I missed it. I don't know. Ryu glider skin. Or they reset. I love all of these quality of life changes, and I definitely welcome more for At the At least future. for the reputations. I'm also in love. Like with what happened when you get all eight level eight? impact has to offer. For sure, I will work really hard to unlock as many name cards as I can just to show off to I'm my not, I'm not even close, man. <laughs> you get level 10 on the character. Companionship. Your master of alchemy and knowledge of transmutation will easily enable you to learn how to craft these neat gadgets. Similar to cooking, you can learn the blueprints Guiding. within your bag. Then, with your available components, you can craft them like any other. What I need. Dandelion seeds. I'm really excited to share some that plant is called. about these new items, since I know that you will find them super convenient in your travels. I already and got all the Oculus. And Geocalus Resident Stone essentially behaves like a radar to seek enamel Kali and Geocali that you may be missing. This will of course be very useful to collectors that seek to max level their statue of seven. But if you already maxed it. 
Well, I guess it's for like the newer people that didn't. Animal didn't. and geo treasure compasses correspond to the region that you are in. Similar to Resonant Stone, the tool helps you seek any unopened treasures. Oh, treasure. This one's for treasure. Okay. I need this because I still have a lot of treasure I haven't found. Wind catchers are super convenient for when you can never find that third animal grana. Sure, you may find it once before, but that doesn't mean you'll find them again all the time with ease. Now, with wind catchers, each updraft costs one animal grana. It's like a mini venti ability. Pretty neat, uh, I'd say. That would be useful. I don't have venti. Each adventurer has their favorite hotspot. For some, it's to fight elite bosses. For others, it's to enjoy the scenery. Regardless for whichever category you may fall under, a portable waypoint is fit for either purpose. Just keep in mind that there are limitations such as number and duration of your personal waypoint. The duration every week, right? Can you delete it and replace it? Or what? Can you replace it? Or... Then for all you chefs out there, there is finally a portable stove. Now you oh, have portable to stove. To the city or fight in a hilly troll's kitchen to whip yeah. up your favorite snack on the fly. Oh, can, can, it, can it disable cooking <laughs> while fighting? And climbing walls while fighting? Or picking up items, um, make it like low priority for cooking. Lastly, as I know you've all been waiting for this, is the implementation of NRE, or Nutrition Ready to Eat. This gadget is basically a shortcut ah. for you to eat food without having to open your bag. Okay, just a shortcut. Wait, what is that? A forest hilly troll? He's so funny looking, but he's so cute too. Oh, he throw primo oh, gems? His attacks are primo gems? I mean, if he doesn't want them, then I'll gladly take them. Oh my gosh! And he throws confetti too? Ah, now everyone is definitely going to seek out their own forest hilly trail just to see for themselves how quirky this new monster is. You kill him, you drop primo gems? Let's all try our best to catch him before he disappears. Now, before we end the stream, Primo I'd like Jet. to officially present the new event for 1.1. All right, all right. Reconciled Stars. This event will feature our adventures with Mona. Better be a better. Unreconciled Stars consists of three stages: Unknown Stars, Stars of Deceitful Dreams, or Days, and Star of I mean, Destiny. Only three these days long. Wait, will what's be going released on? gradually over time. Oh, okay, okay. Three days for that, After three days for that. After certain event requirements, you'll receive the Great Fischl. That's right. So, don't pass this event up. <sighs> Unfortunately, that's all we have for today. So, uh, okay, I'd like okay. to thank you for joining me in Genshin Impact's 1.1 preview stream. We want to we want to talk about again in the beautiful world of Tevat on November 11th. Well, maybe that'll be so for another then, video, right? Yeah. Farewell, travelers. Anything else? Anything else? Maybe, maybe, maybe they'll have like a... Oh, no, we'll wait! Or, you know, they dropped another... Guess that's it. Okay, cool. But yeah, maybe, maybe I'll do another video on, you know... The dissection of the trailer and whatnot. But yeah, that's the live reaction. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Check out my streams, uh, my socials down below. And if you like this, give a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And with that, later days.